Okay, let's add a book to our Zotero library. So here I have um, this book. I haven't read it yet. I'm thinking about reading it, thinking about buying it. Uh, I'm going to highlight the ISBN code here. Uh, of course, if you have a physical book, you've got the ISBN on the back. It's on the barcode or listed somewhere in the book in a couple places, uh, and you can just type it in. I'm just going to copy it here from uh, Amazon and go over here to uh, Zotero, and we will click on the magic wand here. And I can enter the ISBN number there, and enter that, and Zotero's gonna think for a second, and then come back and have that item loaded for me. And now you can see there is the book, uh, Duck and Cover, Confronting and Correcting Dubious Practices in Education. Um, for APA purposes, uh, I noted this before, um, just make sure that your, all your capitalization is correct. If you need to change something in Zotero, you can right-click on the title. Uh, sometimes it may pull stuff in in title case. Um, you should change it to sentence case. And just make sure that you change the first letter after the colon there. But uh, we've also learned, uh, our good friend Mike Wynn discovered that when you add the citations in Microsoft Word uh, in your reference page, it will correct that inside of Word. So um, just a heads up. I don't know if it doesn't in Google Docs. I haven't tried yet. Um, but it may very well do that in Google Docs as well. So that is uh, how you can add, manually add uh, a reference to your Zotero library. Um, again, you can use ISBN, DOIs, or several other codes uh, that you may have access to. Uh, now we're gonna pop back over to Google Chrome and take a look at how we might add something with the Zotero connector. So, um, Zotero Connector is a um, extension for Chrome. It's also available for uh, Firefox and I believe Safari uh, or the Brave web browser, which is a version of Chrome. Um, so if you if you just search Zotero Connector, this is it right here. Um, of course, uh, yours will not say remove. It will be add to Chrome or add to Brave or Firefox, whatever it may be. Uh, your your personal browser version, you'll have the option to add it there. Uh, so what this does, it adds a in your toolbar extensions or whatever, it adds an icon for um, the Zotero connector. So one thing to make note of when you first install this um, in Chrome or Brave, um, <clears throat> You have to, to be able to see it all the time, and this is frustrating that Chrome does this now, but anyway, uh, there's this little puzzle piece you have to click here. So if you click the puzzle piece, um, you have to pin the extension for it to show up here in this list. Um, so click your puzzle piece uh, after you've installed the Zotero connector, and then you'll look for it in this list, um, and it is alphabetical order, so Zotero connector, and make sure you click that pin right there. Uh, of course, mine is already pinned, um, but you would uh, pin it and it will show up uh, here at the top. And I like to put mine uh, closer to the front of my extension list. Yes, you can just click and click and hold on any of those icons to reorder them. Just drag it left or right and you can reorder that. So there's my Zotero. Um, so now let's go to, let's just go to the New York Times. And here we go. Here is an article. Um, now let's say this was an article I wanted to save um, for later. Might use it in dissertation or for an article, whatever. Um, so once you get to the page here, uh, you can click on your Zotero connector and click that. And by default, it will go to your library but you can also click this drop down box and you will see, uh, you can see all of your folders that you have. You click more, um, you see all of the folders that you have. 
set up and you can click on a specific folder if you'd like and Zotero will save it to that um, will save it to that folder in your Zotero library so that's done and now we're going to pull back up Zotero here and you'll see that there is that newspaper article I just saved uh, again here's an, an is a time when you would need to correct this capitalization so we right click on that and switch to sentence case and I can go in and I can change that H uh, watch for proper names as well but you'll see all the authors are listed there there's even it pulls an abstract publication date uh, the original link back to the article all the information that it would know it would need to cite a newspaper article it is smart enough to know that this was a newspaper article um, Zotero will pick that up in most cases if it's a journal article, a book section, a book, uh, a, just a document. If it's a PDF that's been published uh, that's not from a journal, uh, things like that. But you can also click that and you can change um, whatever it may be. And there are lots of options for you to choose from. And based upon what you choose, these options here will change as well uh, as needed for your citation. So. Uh, that's how you add things to Zotero, uh, either manually or through the Zotero connector. I, I recommend Zotero connector as often as possible. Um, and that uh, should get you off and running with adding things to your Zotero library.